But people are dying with vaping. So we're looking at it very closely. And the Trump administration announced Wednesday it was taking steps to ban flavored e-cigarettes from the market amid nationwide alarm over an outbreak of a mysterious lung disease that has sickened hundreds and killed at least six people. Alex Azar, the U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services, told reporters Wednesday from the Oval Office that in the coming weeks, the FDA would issue guidance that would lead to a ban of all non-tobacco vape flavors. And at that point, all flavored e-cigarettes other than tobacco flavor would have to be removed from the market. Tobacco flavored uh, e-cigarettes, their, their manufacturers would by May 2020 have to file for approval by FDA of their products. The other flavored product manufacturers can at any time also file, but they would be off the market until approved by FDA. Wednesday's announcement comes as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is investigating more than 450 cases of a severe lung disease across 33 states and one U.S. territory linked to vaping. Teenagers and young adults are presenting with a cough and shortness of breath and with lung disease that is severe enough to put them in the hospital. Some of them needed to be even in the ICU and on the ventilators. So far, the cause of the illness is unknown. But health officials are investigating whether a vitamin E oil that's been added to some vaping products could be behind the outbreak. Uh, vaping has become a very big business, as I understand it, like a giant business in a very short period of time. But we can't allow people to get sick and we can't have our youth be so affected. This is a health crisis that we're confronting. And Last week, Michigan be became the first state to ban flavored e-cigarettes. The CDC went a step further, urging consumers to stop using any sort of electronic cigarette until their investigation yields clear findings.